the single cell data that I was mentioning uh, previously, uh, both you know in a in the in the setting of Alzheimer's disease and and in uh, normal uh, in normal vasculature, is revealed that you know the the majority about two thirds of the genes that the Alzheimer risk gene, which have been identified by GWA studies, are vascular genes. So, so this provided further evidence in support of the idea that Alzheimer is not just neurodegenerative uh, condition, but there is also a neurovascular component to the to the um, uh, cognitive decline, uh, which may relate either to the production of amyloid beta and tau or to the, their clearance, because the vessels may modulate both the, the uh, um, vascular risk factors can increase the, the, the accumulation of tau and, and, and uh, amyloid beta, um, whereas uh, vascular problems in the clearance end may facilitate the accumulation in the brain. All right? So the, the vasculature is uniquely poised to really uh, affect the production of those proteins as well as the clearance of the proteins. So that's kind of the, the balance. Now, on the production side, the, the, there is evidence that hypertension, for example, may promote uh, a beta uh, amylogenic processing of, of amyloid precursor protein leading to a beta accumulation. You know, and may may uh, it, hypertension is associated to more tau in the brain, right? So we don't know exactly how that occurs, um, um, uh, but is a finding. And recent data using uh, a, a model of hypertension, uh, angiotensin-based uh, hypertension model, suggests that a, a uh, the vasculature may promote tau uh, hyperphosphorylation. Uh, by interfering with the the phosphorylation mechanism that regulate tau uh, stability in in neurons, all right? So you have the vessel kind of influencing the neuron, uh, uh, the phosphorylation state of tau in neurons, which is kind of very very kind of uh, a novel idea. Um, and this may occur in hypertension. Uh, and now on the clearance side. Uh, vascular risk factors like uh, APOE4, hypertension, uh, and so on, they impair the ability of the vessels to constrict and relax in response to activity. Right? So brain, neural activity generates the, the, the waste all right, that, that you need to get rid of. All right? And the vasculature picks up that waste and, and dumps it into the, the venous system eventually into the into the right atrium or at the heart all right now if the ability of the vessels to constrict and relax you know that facilitate this clearance fun function is affected then you're going to end up also getting stuck with more stuff in the brain and so on and so you can see how the vasculature can be involved in both you know the generation of the garbage that we want to get rid of a beta and tau and the clearance that is absolutely necessary because the brain doesn't have any other way to get rid of the stuff, all right? Uh, everything goes through the vessels and everything comes out of the vessels uh, or the lymphatics, you know. So through those channels, that's, the action is going to have to take place.